A 16-year-old beauty from down south was also on the threshold of stardom. Her name was Connie Haynes. Sinatra and Haynes were still virtual unknowns when they were paired together, but that changed almost overnight. Of course, I was big in Jacksonville, and, uh, and then he was big in Hoboken, New Jersey. I mean, the local boy makes good. And we made hip, started to make hit records together immediately with James, and then we went on to our biggest ones with the Tommy Darcy Band. You're a knockout and a beauty. I'm a snooty little cutie. Snooty little cutie, mine. Today, Connie Haynes lives in Clearwater. With more than 200 recordings to her credit, she's maintained an amazing career of her own. But her memories of work and play with old blue eyes have never dimmed. Frank and I sang together for three straight years, day and night. <laughs> for two. Even Sinatra's own daughter, who produced the CBS miniseries, didn't offer a very sympathetic portrayal of her father. Those closest to him don't deny the womanizing, substance abuse, or the ego that got him in trouble. Guess what you read and what you see about Frank uh, is Frank. He was just an Italian temperament, but... Not for one moment did he doubt that he wasn't going to be the biggest singer in the business. You swept this girl off her feet. The two stars continue to surprise each other. At Sinatra's 75th birthday salute, the Connie Haynes of today brought back yesterday's memories. I think even at his age, he's got sex appeal. And there'll never be another Frank Sinatra. Love you, Frank.